the thing about what adversity is, it's really understanding the base level of issues, whatever it might be. My father uh, was a pastor and then a social worker. And as a social worker, he would take in general assistance uh, clients. And what he would do is the general assistance client would come in and he'd take him down to the place where you'd register and you'd get a place, place to stay. But this time, John was saying, well, where's your client? And my dad was saying, well, it's me. We don't have enough money to feed the four kids right now. So that's when we got on welfare. But my parents, my father especially, and my mom still wanted to go down that road. And therefore, it translated into what they did in the community. I've tried to say, well, how can I do that today? Now, I'm obviously not my parents. But what I am right now is a journalist. And I think to myself, what can I do today? What can I do to continue that sort of move? Well, I say, what is my Google? I was talking to some Googlers uh, about a month and a half ago. They have a huge platform to get done what they want to get done. I thought to myself, what is my Google and my platform? I try to use the fact that I work for CNN Worldwide and all of its networks to contribute and pull resources together for the community service areas that I care about. So for instance, I serve on two boards, one of which works on just affordable housing. For 20 years, they've had success. The second place is an organization that has helped the homeless for 35 years. Now, what I've had access to those boards otherwise, I don't know, but I'm certainly leveraging my platform right now to make the largest impact that I can. This is what I spend a lot of time. This is my main job. This is journalism. This is the, the big plant in my life. And I feed it, and I fertilize it, and I put water into it every day. But I don't want to be myopic. So what I do is I also have other interests. My other interest is this little guy here. And this happens to be my business interest. I spent 15 years in business. I still like business. And then my third interest, this one is affordable housing. Now, the idea behind this is I'm always thinking of not more than one thing. I, I want to, don't want to be too myopic about the job that's in front of me. Because there could be someday I turn around when this one gets taken away from me. Or it no longer is enriching for me. And I have nothing. And so watering plants for me is so important because of that, because I know that I've always got these others that I've been nurturing and developing over time because I only have a certain amount of water. For instance, I'm going to be in Ghana in February. My idea there is to work for Habitat for Humanity for two weeks and build affordable houses. And what that does is, number one, feeds that tree over there because I'm interested in affordable housing. And it also, at the same time, helps this tree here. Because as a journalist, I need to understand what's happening on the continent of Africa. And I'm actually going to tell a story at the same time. There's lots of things that you can do in community service that help all of your interests all at the same time. And you get the most out of it that you can. Thanks a lot.